For the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got these Four of Cups, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, this Four of Cups, it's a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings we currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life actually has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things, people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now it's with this Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a very positive card, especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's a really, really good overall card. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pinnacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of the, of the work that you do, even if you're not getting paid. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track there could be some room for improvement but at this time you will not have to you will not have to scrap something and then start again so basically the recent past energy between you and your person this four of cups clarified by this three of pentacles so what i'm getting for a lot of you gemini's is that um the person that you're you were dealing with this recent past energy you're probably still with them I don't know we'll see what the rest of the reading has to say um, also some people say they can't hear me so if you have any earphones earplugs headphones it would be helpful and then if you press press the CC button that's below the video you'll be able to see what I'm saying in text closed caption press the CC button Put on some headphones. Okay, so anyway, yeah, what I'm getting with this recent past energy between you and your person is that um, your person gave you the impression that they had maybe a lot to bring to, to the table or they had um, something to offer you or. They were willing to meet you halfway. This could have been emotionally, financially, in some kind of way. They gave you this impression. But it looks like because of Four of Cups is here. Yeah. It didn't really turn out that way. Because this Three of Pentacles is about benefits, teamwork, collaboration. You thought you would get all of this with your person. But what you end up getting was wishing things were different. Yeah, the Three of Cups is about maybe some regret. Or you could be feeling devalued or unloved by your person. They're not really bringing much to the table. Or they're not bringing to the table what they said they would or they're not doing enough. So it's making you feel maybe unimportant. Yeah, so we move on over. Let's get out of that energy. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Hierophant and it's with the Death card. Now the Hierophant, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues. 
um, your intelligence and empathy puts you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity. They're the genuine article, the true blue. Highly admired individuals, they walk the walk, talk the talk, and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, it's on the death curve, which does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're, we're all creatures with free will, and such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. So this is definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations. Things and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Just know the transition can be very difficult for some people. But the change is usually always needed. So like I said, um, Gemini, you thought your person would bring more to the table. Or they gave you that impression that there would be teamwork, collaboration. Or they had something to offer you, but they looks like maybe they didn't because you're sitting here with regret and feeling like uh, you wish things were different. Maybe he's just not feeling loved by this person because they're not doing what they said they would do. Um, so coming up with this Hierophant clarified by the Death card, you come to some conclusion. Or you will be coming to some conclusion about this person, about the connection. You're probably losing interest. And because it's with the Hierophant, um, yeah, you... you you could be thinking about maybe someone you know that has more morals or someone who's traditional. Someone that you can trust. The Hierophant is, like I said, genuine, the real deal. Loyal, honest, sincere. Um, you could be thinking of someone you know like this that you could be thinking of going towards. Or you could just be, like I said, you're kind of stuck in regret with this Four of Cups. So you could be wishing that um, your person was more loyal and honest and sincere like this Hierophant. But you've come to the conclusion you're losing interest. The Death card is about losing interest. Finality. So... Yeah, I'm getting that your mind is changing. You're no longer feeling the same way about this person. Um, yeah, so we're moving over and we take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the moon card with the seven of wands. Now the moon card, um, you could be feeling psychic, intuitive more than usual. So it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mis mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get this card in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot, so go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So, it's about trying to stay patient. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. Some of the ones you could find in any sort of competitive situation. That you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You still may have some regular moments of self-doubt. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, you still might have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you can help someone out by spelling things out for them. 
This card points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So, the challenge, the moon card clarified by the Seven of Wands. So, yeah. You could be, like I said, I'm, I still keep seeing this person sitting on the grass, this Four of Cups, the card above the word past, just stuck in regret and just wishing, kind of wishing things were so different, wishing things were really different. Um, yeah, so you feel like, you can start to feel like um, a lot of things are hidden from you. Yeah, you can feel like um, holding yourself back, you're, you're remembering there was a time when you wanted to come out on top, like the Seven of Wands. This person, Seven of Wands, they want to be the last man standing. Yeah, so you're remembering that, that time when you wanted to be the, you wanted to win the connection. But now you just feel like too much is hidden, not enough is known. Yeah, because your person gave you the impression that things would be one way. And it's turning out that they're not. So you're feeling that this person probably was wearing a mask and being deceptive. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Eight of Cups. And it's with the it's with the Seven of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups can mean that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you will be the one to make the choice. Just know that. Very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now, it's with the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So, choose just a f Choose just a few of the things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So, basically, the outcome, Eight of Cups clarified by this Seven of Cups. So, yeah, like I said, this Eight of Cups is about walking away. Yeah, you're, you're thinking about leaving this behind. Or that's what you're going to do. You're walking away. You leave, you're leaving it behind. You realize that you have options. There's other things you could be doing that would be better for you. You might have other options with other people or just in life overall. So you're walking away. You felt this person was deceptive. You felt like a lot of times they didn't say what they, what was the truth or how they really felt. You felt like they were wearing a mask. At one point, you wanted to be the Seven of Wands. You wanted to be the last man standing. You wanted to win this connection. But there was just too much deception. You were hoping this person could bring something to the table. Like they said they could. Maybe meet you halfway with, with a, who knows what. Maybe the bills. Maybe emotionally. It could be with a situation. But they didn't. They said they could meet you halfway and bring teamwork, collaboration. But they didn't. So you're feeling like this Four of Cups. They make you feel like you're you're not important. Yeah, because they don't really stick to their word. So you were hoping that this person would be more like the higher offender more true, more honest, sincere. So you've lost interest. This stuff, 
death card is saying you've lost interest. You've come to some conclusion. And you're deciding to walk away. 